It's in your head, it's in your head, zombie, 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 eh, eh. It's, it is in your head. Oh, sometimes you think a lot of this is make-believe. When you look at the markets, you have no idea what's happening. <laughs> S&P 500, almost 2% up today. Dow Jones, 1.7%. NASDAQ, 2.33%. Even Russell, your friend named Russell, is up 2.5%. And that crude oil, whoa, hello, 4.16% in the green. And we've got the SPY at 4, 12, 98. Knock, knock, knocking on 413's door. Oh, not only knocking, it has kicked the door in. So there we go. It is 234, 234, 234. That's actually a lucky number. Yep, 234 here on Cinco de Mayo. Quick update. Apparently Kid 3 is like, you know what? I'm going over to so-and-so's house. Some lady friend of his is having a bonfire. So he's going over there tonight instead of having people over here, which is perfectly fine with me. I don't want them over here stinking up the place. And then Sparkle Barbie, Lady Tans a lot, aka Lady Spends a lot, aka my wife. I said, Hey, Lady, you want me to take you to dinner? <laughs> you want me to take you to dinner tonight? She says, I think I'm making tacos and homemade guacamole. And I'm like, Uh, hello, you had me at hello. Cinco de Mayo, her tacos, she makes this like special sauce. And I told you before, we buy our cows local. We get a half cow a year from one of our friends, one of uh, Deuce's baseball friends, Deuce, Deuce's baseball buddies from kindergarten through present. They own a cattle farm here in the farm fields of Valparaiso, Indiana. And we get half a cow from them every year. And you've never had a cow. You've never had ground beef or steaks or fillets until you've had it fresh and local. So she's going to be making up some tacos with her special sauce on that. Homemade guacamole. So my mouth is actually watering as we speak. Check it in here live. We do it live here on the Wealth Snowball. Even though I record it one day when Elon calls me up, excuse me, Bart. Yes, who's this? This is Elon Musk. Oh yeah, Elon, what would you what would you be calling me for? Your Starlink satellite is ready. <laughs> oh, wait till we're going live. Wait till we do it live. We're gonna have a blast together, you and I. You and I must make a pact. It's like it's been a pretty good day. We've closed out a number of positions, and sure, I could have closed them out for more dollar bills. At this point in the day, but I didn't know. I didn't know if it was going up or down. It was up pretty good this morning, but it's continued to go up all day long, all day. Up $25,000 today. That's a pretty good day. We have the Citigroup calls that are expiring at full profit in about 23 minutes. Same with the Medical Properties Trust. We got the seven. Dollar and six dollar put credit spread. Ten of those contracts. Verizon, though, it's got some pressure under pressure. Currently trading at 37.73. Come and get it. I dare you. I dare you to come here and get those stocks for $38. I don't want to let them go. <laughs> I don't want to let them go. And I don't think it's going to happen at this stage. So we will keep you posted. We will keep looking at that. They expire today, 14 contracts representing 1,400 shares of Verizon. Can you hear me now? I like their divvy. I like collecting premium. Put this one on the board aggressively. Bank of America, 13 contracts, 2850 call, already under pressure because the market has gone up since I put that on. It's at 2780. So that 2850 strike call that expires on the 12th, on May 12th. So we'll be watching that next week. Collected $221 for doing so. Normally 
Not a great deal of premium on Bank of America. So I got a little aggressive right there. Caterpillar, we got the $200 short leg strike on the credit spread. It's currently tra uh, trading at 214.79, up 2% today. We'll let that ride through the weekend, collect some more dollar bills, probably close that before expiration. Same with Costco. It's at 498.81 as we speak, and I have a 482.50 short leg strike on the put credit spread. Let that ride through the weekend. See how that does. Same with the Dow Inc., formerly Dow Chemical. I'd be tempted to close that right now because it's still close. Oh, it's up to 5434, so we'll let that ride through the weekend as well. Hopefully collect some more dollar bills. Yeah, pretty good week, pretty good day. Had to manage our way through some of the trades and all of those have worked out so far so good. We still have some work to do. This week was tough until today, right? So that's all right, that's okay. We're gonna trade it anyway. I was talking to my friend Tammy over here and I was like, hey, Tammy, please give me a portfolio of 40 dividend growth stocks that have outperformed the market. What is Tammy going to say? AbV, huh? Apple, AT&T, Bank of America, Chevron, CVS, ExxonMobil, Johnson & Johnson, J.P. Morgan Chase, Procter & Gamble, Starbucks, Walgreens, Walmart, 3M, <coughs> Let me clear my throat. AbV again. Wait, didn't we already see AbV? Tammy, slow down. We'll go through. I swear AbV was first on the list, and then she listed it twice. There's AbV at number one and number 15. Hello, robot. Don't tell me this chat GPT is going to be taking everybody's jobs when it just repeats itself and includes 3M. <laughs> A lot of good companies in here, though. You did all right, Tammy. I appreciate it. Johnson & Johnson, J.P. Morgan, Procter & Gamble, Starbucks, Walgreens, Walmart, 3M, AbV, Archer, Daniels, Midland, Boeing, Coca-Cola, Colgate, Palmolive, Consolidated Edison, Dominion Energy, Emerson Electric. My old buddy, my old buddy Matt Stoneburner works for Emerson. I wonder what he's up to. He was transferred in here to Valpo used me as his real estate agent, sold him a beautiful home, sold that house when he moved, transferred with his company. I do miss you. I miss you, Matt. We had a good time together in the years, well, three or four years that he lived here. ExxonMobil, Franklin Resources, that's ticker symbol, Ben. Get it, Ben? Franklin. Genuine Parts Company, Hormel, Intel. We've got some Intel, PepsiCo, Pfizer, and Pfizer. We have that. Philip Morris, we have that. Union Technology or United Technologies, Verizon, we have that. VF Corp, we have that. Walmart, we have that. Wall Waste Management, Wells Fargo, Walt Disney Company, Walgreens, we've got that. Microsoft and Mickey D's. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking about this today, driving to the gym. <sighs> thinking about my sweetheart girls as they travel across the country over to Wyoming. They should be arriving probably in about, I don't know, hour or two at the Brush Creek Ranch. Talk about hoity-toity. <sighs> but old Maya Coco, kid too, my sweetheart. I remember when we got her a pink Barbie Jeep for her birthday and... One day, she comes up to me with her sweet curls and her hair. Now her hair is straight, but she had these, like, it was basically an afro. Hey, hey Daddy. Yeah, sweetie? Can I, can I drive you to McDonald's in the Jeep? <laughs> oh, my God. I actually have tears in my eyes as I say that. <laughs> uh, Maya Coco wanted to drive me to McDonald's in her pink Barbie Jeep. And of course I said, yes, we, we, we like made it to the, into the driveway. And I was like, you know what? Maybe we should, uh, maybe we'll take the regular car. I'll drive. I'll buy. Okay. Dad, dad. 
Oh, my sweet kids. If you've got kids, you know what I'm saying, but I've run the math. Boop, boop, boop. I got the spreadsheets out. And what I've realized is that kids are, drum roll please, 68% overrated. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. But they are also 32% lovable. And that 32% makes up for anything and everything. In fact, the lady that helped me make those children, I just heard her crash through the door and yell, hello. So I think we're going to take a walk, a little walk outside. It's beautiful today, like 70 degrees. And then we're going to be making some tacos. Cinco de Mayo. So checking in here live, letting some things ride through the weekend, close some things out earlier today. I already have a spy position that I took today. I may take a second one. I'll watch this till the end. We did take one today. I think it expires on the 19th. Let's take a look at it real quick. Let's take a look at it now. There it is. Put this on earlier, 425 slash 428, call credit spread on the SPY. Five contracts collected $115 bills. So I like that trade. If the SPY continues, if it makes that little run that it likes to do at the end of the day, we'll probably put another call credit spread on. But so far, so good. Green Day today ended up having a good week. So thanks for joining me in all of the videos. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your friendship. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share this channel with a lovable friend. And I'll see you in the next video.